Skype is a great tool to make video or audio calls for free over the internet. And with an add-on tool, you can record these calls so you can replay the conversation later, or maybe you want to conduct an interview over Skype and share it on YouTube. If you're a coach, you may want to record these calls and send them to your client afterwards. I'm Brighton West, and today I'm going to show you how to do that with a software called Ecamm Recorder for your Macintosh. So I'm assuming that you already know how to use Skype, and I'm just going to be talking about the call recording part of this process. And what I'm using is Call Recorder for Skype by Ecamm. You can buy this for $30 for a lifetime license, and I've got a link down below so you can get over to getting the call recorder for Skype from Ecamm. Once again, this is just Mac software. What it does is it records audio and video of your Skype calls, or it allows you to do that. And there's a couple things here. Once you have it installed, uh, it'll just start up when you start Skype, and then you'll click the little cog here to go to settings. And this is where you're going to decide on things like, do you want, um, you know, how high of a quality do you want the video? And probably most importantly, the which video do you want to record? So often, um, I want to do a split screen where I'm talking, say I'm a coach and I'm, I'm talking with my client. I might want to do a split screen where we're both on screen together or I can do a remote only, um, maybe a picture in a picture. So I, you know, the person who's not speaking is down there on the bottom, just a small, uh, small picture. And multi-track allows you to actually separate it out. It's a little more complicated, but if you want to take it into an editing program and bring it back and forth, uh, that's a great option for recording both. So um, maybe you're doing an interview, you could do the split screen. Um, I do testimonials where I record just the remote side. But let's do, let's say we're going to do an interview with someone or a coaching session. We're going to do a split screen and we're going to do high video quality and we can choose, you know, 1280 by 720 or something smaller than that. Uh, and I'm going to put this on medium. So, you know, the more high quality that you try to set this up, the harder it's going to be for the software to get a, a really good image. Um, but if you've got a really high quality connection to the internet, the person on the other side does, and both of you have high quality computers, go ahead and set everything up to the maximum. Otherwise, if you're having some problems, just kind of break it down a little bit to a lower level. Um, so of course I always go over to audio and video and make sure I've got a good video image here. So looking good with the amount of light. And then I'll close out the settings and I'm going to call the person I'm going to be uh, interviewing. And this just happens to be my wife. So I'll push the video call. Hello. Hello. Looks like you're going to need to turn your camera on. Hey, Kat, how you doing? I'm doing great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this call. So you should always make sure the other person knows that you're going to be recording the call and go over to call recorder and you'll push the big red dot and it starts recording. And you can see also the input on your side, how much volume there is and also the output on the other person's side. So Kat, I usually ask the other person to count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Perfect. It went up a little bit. It peaked a little bit, but it was here. There was a, a decent amount of volume. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of volume there. You might need the person to speak up or, you know, maybe a little further away from their microphone. So okay. once you've uh, completed this though, you can just, you know, complete your interview and you're going to hit the stop button. And then you can finish up your conversation with your guest. So that's not no longer being recorded. Uh, you might want to go and you know test it out, and make sure it looks good. I, I often run a test right before I um, before I actually do an interview. Uh, if I'm recording an interview to put up on YouTube, I'll run a test. So you'd go to Show Saved Calls, and you can see how it turned out here. One on each side of the screen, and push play, and it starts recording. And you can. So there we go. It sounds good. It looks good. I'm happy with that. And then I can let my guest go and then I'll go into movie tools to get that all exported. So thank you very much, Kat. I will see you soon. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to hang up. Okay. And then I'm over, like I said, I pushed the, the little magnifying glass, uh, which opened up the Ecamm movie tools here. And 
I can go ahead and export this. I usually choose to export as an MOV file, but you've got some options. You can do this with just audio if you want, um, but I'm gonna do the audio and the video together. And it looks like you have the option of splitting the tracks up. So let's go ahead and just click export. It'll ask you where you want to put this. I'm just going to put this on my desktop, which has lots of stuff on it already, and click export. And there you go. That is the file. If you click on that, you'll see that is the file. And it's so now you can upload this file to YouTube or to Vimeo and password protect it. It's say, say you're doing a, an interview, you would put that up on YouTube, but if you're working with a client, you might put that up on Vimeo and then password protect it so that only your client can see the video. So if you like the idea of recording your Skype calls, click down below. There's a link to get Ecamm call recorder for Skype. Uh, once again, just for Macintosh, link down below to purchase that for $30. Thanks much. Remember, you need to get permission to record a conversation and either party could run this software. So if your call is being recorded for the other person, the best thing might be to suggest that they get Ecamm Recorder and record the file to their hard disk. That would eliminate the uploading and the passwords and all that. If you're a coach, I'd love to talk to you about how you are using video in your practice. Just push the button to schedule a free call now.